With the forecasted snow tomorrow, you may be dreaming of a warmer climate, say Hawaii. Yeah, how about we bring a little of Hawaii to the Kirby and Holloway kitchen? And here to help is Hawaiian Brian Horakami. He is the owner of Brian's Aloha Shop in Salisbury. Now, did I get your last name right? Yes, it's you got it. Oh, Correct. good, 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 good. Yes. So we are actually making something that is, I guess... A poke bowl, uh, right? Well, Corey, this is a poke. Yeah, a poke. In Hawaiian, we say poke. Poke. So poke. we will be making... Poke, okay. That's right. So we will be making poke today. Oh. Okay, so okay, what makes poke. it poke? Well, as many cultures, they take advantage of their ingredients that are local mm -hmm. to the area so in Hawaii as you know there's we're surrounded by ocean so there's a lot of seafood so the Hawaiians use primarily two ingredients to make poke okay you need the protein which is typically a fish and salt it's a type of Hawaiian salt is this from Hawaii yes actually I imported this from Hawaii what makes it Salisbury. Hawaiian? Well, as you can see, this is a red salt, mm -hmm. and it's made out of seawater. Okay. The seawater dries in beds of red clay, and that's what makes it a reddish okay. color. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. for sure. And then um, you can, the protein, um, I guess typically we see um, tuna, right? Yes, we call it ahi also known as the yellowfin tuna, but we also have other f varieties of proteins. We, if you um, want to use raw fish, we have um, salmon. Mm -hmm. We can use almost anything that would be used as sushi grade or sashimi grade at any of the Japanese restaurants that you have those kinds of food. What if you don't want to use raw food? What if what if you're that person who has to have everything cooked? Well, you, we do have cooked proteins such as octopus. Oh, tasty. We also have cooked shrimp. Okay. And people, since we're on the eastern shore, we can have... Muskrat. <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> maybe not. I was thinking more like, you know, blue crab. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. Okay. Steamed Me too. Crabs. That's what I meant to say. Maybe some yeah. rockfish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe you're onto something some, there. Some cheeseburger poke. <laughs> <laughs> now, over the last couple years, I've been going to the cities such as Baltimore, DC, and Philadelphia, and New York, and I have been seeing shops that are selling poke bowls. Really? Yes, and so I think this is taking off mm -hmm. really fast. Mm -hmm. And so I've also seen other kinds of poke, uh, such as tofu, mm -hmm. which is nowadays, you know, people want to be more healthy. Sure. And so that's what we'll be doing later on in today's segment. Okay, and to tofu, as you know, takes on all of the different flavors that you cook with. Mm -hmm. So it'll taste like whatever we're kind of mixing into it, and it's pretty good if it's prepared right. And to get an idea of what uh, the, the poke is, we have two of them over here, and one of them is with the ahi tuna, and the other one is with shrimp which I think is interesting. Yes, the ahi, of course, is the typical ones that you would see in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. Now, in Salisbury, because you know we're close enough to the ocean, I made this locally. Um, I got the fish. Now, people think fresh fish has to be right out of the water, but because ahi is a tuna that's uh, caught in the deep sea, mm -hmm. the fishermen will put it into their boats and flash freeze it. Right. So even though they say fresh, it's really frozen fresh. Okay, good enough. But no matter what, it tastes great, mm -hmm. it looks very colorful, and you know, some people are afraid about raw fish because they think they'll get sick. Mm -hmm. Well, ask me how many times in my entire life I got sick over eating raw fish. Hey, Hawaiian Brian, how many times in your entire life have you gotten sick over eating raw fish? This many. Ah, All right, okay. well, we're Zero. still going to make the tofu poke bowl. That's coming up uh, uh, next. Hawaiian Brian is going to show us how, so you want to stick around. We are back in the Kirby and Holloway kitchen with Hawaiian Brian, uh, the owner of Hawaiian Brian's Aloha Shop in Salisbury, and we are making a tofu poke bowl. And uh, I see Corey has the, the tofu. Is he going to cut that up? They gave me a knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, really, but you don't really need that big of a knife, do you? <laughs> yes, yeah, so Corey will be cutting our tofu into cubes.
And I'm going to keep it really simple for today's show. Um, at the Aloha shop, I have these packets, uh, which already includes all the spices, the Hawaiian salt, and there is this seaweed called limu, and it's uh, dehydrated, so all you have to do is put it in some water, and it hydrates into this ah. wonderful, wow. um, you know, puffy uh, type of, um, I guess you would call it a, like a greens. Okay, you know? okay, and, and also green green. Right, and you could also use like, you know, seaweed salad or whatever mm -hmm. to, to dress it up. All right, so what am I going to do here? Yeah, so as soon as Corey dices up or cubes all the tofu, he's going to put it into this bowl. Mm -hmm. And as soon as he does that, Lisa, you are going to be putting in the the salt mm -hmm. that mixture, we about. Yep. and you'll just put it right over. And then today, uh, you can add all kinds of greens. Um, today, I brought in the sweet onion. Mm -hmm. In Hawaii, we have Maui onions. But around here, it's the Vidalia onion, which okay. is nice and sweet. I also have some green onions. And you'll just be tossing that in. Okay. Well, let's, let's get There's this that going for you. here. So the seasoning goes in first. Okay, seasoning. Just, yep, perfect. Yep. And mm -hmm. then just put in the onions. Onions, right. and then the green, go all of this green? Yes, okay. just put it Oops. all in, don't worry. All right. And then I'm gonna put the limu, or the seaweed in. Limu. The emu. The limu, L-I-M-U, okay? And all I need to do is to add just a little, and I don't, me when it comes to cooking, I don't measure, I just kinda eyeball it. I so knew this I is liked you for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the sesame seed oil, oh, okay. that you can get in any store, mm -hmm. and this is the soy sauce. And I happen to be using low sodium because, you know, I have to watch my blood pressure. Yeah, you and me okay. both. So just a little bit, and and uh, let's see. So we just have to mix that mix up. With up. The, okay. Why don't you do that? Okay, Lisa? I'll mix it up. And the, the, the tofu, as we said before, just takes on the flavor. Yes. Just like the ahi tuna or the shrimp would. Yep, you're doing a good job. And ah. you did a great job hey, with thanks. the uh, cubing. They're pretty even cubes, yeah. no big deal. And, and this is something that you can do with your kids, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, just make sure that you use a butter knife instead of a, a regular a sword. knife. With the kids. Yes. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is put it into the serving bowl like this. I'm going to split it so that there's a little bit in each, and then you can take each one and have a taste. Okay? And I like to garnish with a little sesame seeds, like this, and... Oh, we have these water. tiny forks here. There you go, yes. And if you would there like you the recipe, just go to our... Uh, just send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801, or you can go to our website, delmarvalife.com, click on What's Happening Today, and make sure you let us know you want the recipe for the poke bowl. You know right. what they say, don't poke a sleeping bear. <laughs> oh, that's good. Whoa. <laughs> Has a nice flavor. It and does, and the sesame seeds really make it, too. Mm -hmm. Yes. You say it's garnished, but it really adds to the flavor. Mm -hmm. It uh -huh. sure does. So this is what the Hawaiians have been eating for many, many years, and now it's spreading like wildfire. It sure is. Hawaiian Brian of the Aloha Shop in Salisbury. Thank you so much. And as you know, Corey, from the last time, when something's delicious, we say, it's, it's so, so awesome. Oh no. All right.